A 7 News exclusive, we have blurred out this vulgar and racially charged text message sent from the phone of a Georgetown police officer. It was followed up with an even more graphic voicemail. I don't even know who this is, but quit sending me Texas. Only on 7 News, reporter Marshall Zellinger is live with the story behind those messages. Teresa, this is the text that started it all. You're seeing a text message with a few F-bombs that got sent to the cell phone of a Georgetown police officer. The man who sent it meant it in a joke to a friend, but it didn't go to the friend. It went to the officer's cell phone, and that cell phone returned with another text message with some F-bombs and a racial slur. Now that we brought it to the attention of Georgetown police, there's an internal investigation. I accidentally sent a text meant for a good friend of mine that was vulgar. This man, who does not want to be identified, shows 7 News the text that got an inappropriate response from a number belonging to a Georgetown police officer. The original text, you are a blank liar. Go blank yourself, blank. Just alphabetically on my phone, I just, it was just one click away and I goofed it. It went to the officer's phone, a number the man had after the officer helped him with an incident months earlier. Soon after, he saw this text on his phone. Virtually it says, screw you, I don't even know who you are, so eat a giant inward Minutes later, his phone rang, then a voicemail, also filled with vulgarity and a racial slur. I don't even know who this is, but quit sending me Texas. I don't know who it is, you. We have a code of conduct and a code of ethics that applies both on duty and off duty, just as any other department does. 7 News brought the messages to the attention of Georgetown Chief George Weidler. Today, he wasted no time taking action. Even though this was an off duty incident with an officer using his own personal phone that he pays for, um, after I received the information from you, I immediately opened up an investigation on it. The man who originally sent this text never contacted Georgetown police concerned a department of three wouldn't really investigate itself. Tonight, the chief assuring me that if the man who sent this text wants, he will have the Clear Creek County Sheriff's Office investigate instead of himself. I've reached out to the officer. He has not returned my calls. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.